All right, so now on to the bridge. Um, I want to cover the bridge in two parts. So we'll do first the first half, of course. And uh, I'll play that for you, and then we'll get into how to play it on the guitar. So here we go. Right, so what do I play? The chords I use are C, G with B in the bass, A minor, D with F sharp in the bass, G, E minor 7. All right, so what do I play? You take that C chord, and then, uh, also in this case, your ring finger again plays everything on the E string, middle finger plays everything on the B string, index finger plays everything on the G string, and the thumb plays the basses. Okay, so you take that C chord, then you play A string, G string, B string, G string. Then you take that G with B in the bass, then you play the A string, then G and B string together, and then the E string, like this. And then you end with A minor seven and you play the A, G, B and E string. So that's first bar together. One, two, three, four. Now that A minor chord is sustained into the first beat of the next bar. And after that, we play uh, B string, G string, then B string again, but now you have that little finger on third position of that, um, that B string. And then we create that D with F sharp in the bass, and we play the E, G, and B string. So like this. Then we play um, the G string, then the B string, and then the E string. So like this. Then you get that G chord, or G5, and you play the E string and G string, then the E string, then G string and B string together, then the E string again, so like this. Then you take that D with F sharp on the bass, there you play first the E string, G and B string together, then you play that bass string again, treble strings and then the bass string in. So that third bar like this, three, four. Then you play that E minor seven. So you play um, E and G string together, then E string again, then the G string and B string together, and then the E string again, so like this. Then you put your middle finger and index finger back into place for that D with uh, F sharp on the bass, and you play the E, G, and B string together, 
play the E string once more. And then you go back to that G chord. You play the G, E, G, and B string together. And you make a pull-off with your little finger. So that fourth bar goes like this. Three, four. Okay. Okay, so now let's try that first part of the bridge together slowly. One, two, three, four. All right, now for the second part of the bridge. I'll play it for you first, and then we'll get into how to play it on the guitar. So here we go. Just about, it was not flawless, but just about. All right, so you take that C chord and um, you play A and B string together. And you play the A string again, then the B string, then A string and E string together. So like this. Then you take that uh, G with B in the uh, G with B in the bass, but now the index finger or the little finger is not on the E string, but it's now on the B string. You play that, and you play A and B string together, then the A string, and then you play uh, A minor like this, and you play the A and B string together. So that first bar goes like this. Then in the next bar, you play B string, G string, then open A string and G string together. Then you play that D with F sharp in the bass and you play uh, E string, G string, B string, and then you put your ring finger in third position on the E string, making that G chord and you play that bass note. So that second bar goes like this. Let's try those first two bars together. Three, four. Then you play that uh, G chord, of course, in the third bar. You play E, G, and B string together. Play the bass string, treble string, bass string. Then you play that um, uh, D with F sharp in the bass. You play the treble strings and the bass strings. Bass string, treble strings, and then you play open E string. So that third bar goes like this. Three, four. And then you get that thing that we already discussed at the end of the chorus, which is... That E part. The only difference is that at the beginning of that E part, I play not only the G and B string, but I also play the E string. Like so. And from there on you go back to, uh, to a verse. So that last part of the bridge together. Three, three, four.
All right, now for the outro. Uh, I'll play it for you first, and then we'll get into how to play it on the guitar. So here we go. So actually, that was pretty much the same as what you play in the intro. Uh, only at the end, you slow down when you go to that uh, D with F sharp in the bass. Uh, sorry, to that uh, uh, E7 sus4. And you don't play that extra bass. You just play E7 sus4, then E. And then you get that um, A chord. And you play A string. The next finger plays D string, middle finger plays G string, then ring finger plays B string, like this. Then you play middle finger third position on that B string. I do that with my middle finger, so like this. Then uh, once more that B string, uh, second position, make a hammer on, pull off, and then with ring finger, you play the uh, fourth position on the B, uh, G string. Then you play second position G string. Then you make a slide from fourth position to sixth position on the G string. And then you play fifth position on the B and then on the E string. It's like this. And that's pretty much um, Tears in Heaven by Eric Clapton. Right, I hope you enjoyed that. Check yourguitarworkshop.com for, uh, you know, other tutorials, uh, some extra stuff. Uh, this year is going to be uh, an interesting year, well, actually next year, because a lot's going to be changing on the website. So uh, check in from time to time, see what's different, see what I've added uh, in uh, terms of uh, sheet music or exercise or whatever. Um, and for the rest, keep practicing, keep playing, and I hope to see you again sometime. Mm -hmm.